Today, I'll be opening up five different mystery Steam game keys on this website called Fanatical.com. The games that you can win in this mystery bundle range from Bee Simulator and Torchlight 1, all the way up to Monster Hunter World and God of War. I'll be unboxing these games one at a time and trying each of these games for a couple minutes just to get a feel of the quality of games that are available in this mystery bundle. Let's add the cart and proceed to checkout. Alright, so the order went through. I have my five Steam keys here ready to reveal. Uh, I really hope that you guys can see this right now. I'm going to click this button and reveal the first game. Alrighty, so here we are in the first game. This is called AIM Clan Wars 2. Uh, just going off the bone here, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this one. We've got some uh, very realistic looking I mean, cutscenes. Alright, so looks like here... What is going on? Use blah 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 blah. Alright. Holy shit! There we go. Alright, now I can hear myself think. Move to the square cut pit where the second sign is located. So it seems that we are some sort of robot. Uh, we have taken control of some robots. Oh my god, you can't stop! Oh god damn! Hey, so something, something interesting I kind of noticed here, it looks like looking at my shadow, I seem to be like a like a flying spike or an airplane. Alright, let's fire some weapons. Oh yeah! Well guys, I'd love to give you a little bit more of a conclusion of what happens with this little spaceship thing. Uh, but I'm getting incredibly dizzy and incredibly tired of these stupid ass controls with this hyper... I'm giving AIM 2 Clan Wars a 3 out of 10, it's the controls are pretty ass and it made me really dizzy. Alright, next here we have Tiny Tails Heart of the Forest. Uh, as you can probably tell, this is another one uh, that I'm probably not going to be spending too much time in. Gotcha. Yep. Oh my god. Um, thank you. Goodbye. What is going on? Uh, do I need the tutorial? Is this a point and click game? Um, Alright. Maybe I needed the tutorial. Oh, the zipper's broke? Oh, no. Oh, I'm so smart. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a point-and-click game. Plain and simple. It seems like there's some spell crafting stuff along with it, but I'm not really a fan of point-and-click games, so I'm going to give this one a rest, and also a 4 to 10 because the animations and pictures are kind of funny. Well, you know, I was really hoping for something else for our third game, but it looks like we have the exact same shit, different title screen, different pictures maybe, but same damn game. This time we're doing Expert. I don't need no tutorial. I'm pissed off. Skip! A little different. This is like 3D point-and-click. They updated the mouths a little bit in the voice acting. That's strange. I don't know what's going on. I didn't get rid of the hint button, thank god. See, I feel like with these point and click games, yep, you just kind of spam everywhere and then you just kind of win. Like, oh, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm just going to just click everything until I find what progresses me. Wait, if only I was a little taller. But hold on a minute. With this ladder, I would be. Alrighty, well, this is another game that I'm going to play 10 minutes of and call it there because this is another point and click game that I really don't really enjoy that much, to be honest with you. This one does seem like they upgraded some stuff. Uh, the character models look a little bit better. The game overall seems a little bit better in a better direction. So I'll say 4 out of 10 again. Alright, guys. 10 second ninja. We've gone from... Point click to uh, flash game that could have been on Newgrounds.com ten years ago. All right, I'm not sure where the 10 second part comes in, honestly. That gives me big Sonic Eggman vibes right now. Oh my god, even more so. Okay, here we go. So now we're in the actual levels part. Um, so it seems like we actually have like a full actual game here. Um, okay, and there, there's a 10 second thing there. So I probably have to kill all of these in 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Finish in 9.88, nice. Well guys, it seems like this is actually like a complete game. Like this is something that you'd be able to maybe buy on sale. 
Uh, I could actually see myself maybe realistically buying this on sale. Usually these like games like like with this kind of like these gimmicky games like 10 second 10 second concept thing is fun, but would I not want to complete a whole game where I had 10 seconds for every single level? No, I'd probably get tired of playing games really fast, playing the game really fast. However, this one does seem pretty well crafted, and I don't see for the price that I got it for, I'm not too bad. This one I'm going to give a 6 out of 10. Uh, definitely the highlight of my little mystery bundle so far. Let's see what we got for the last one here. Alrighty guys, the final key in the bundle that we got brought us Bomber Crew. Uh, this is the one that I've actually seen before in the Steam Shop. I'm not too sure exactly what the gameplay consists of with this game. Um, or exactly what's going to be going on here. Kind of going into this blind as I have with all these other ones. Uh, just kind of taking what we get here. Alright, so air training traffic exercise. Nice, so right now my gunner is... Or someone, I think maybe my, my spotter is tagging all these planes. And then my gunner in the back there is taking them all down. Alright, what's up with this rec recruit area here? Oh, interesting. Like a mini draft for my... Alright, well, knowing nothing about the hiring and recruiting process here, I'm going to be choosing Vincent McLean as he likes chess. Okay, I'm going to do one more mission on this game, as I found that last one quite enjoyable here. Uh, I just want to see what the second mission will consist of. So from what I understand, this is kind of like a, man like a very small mini management um, game, but you're like focused on your crew and the your bomber crew per se. I can definitely see why I've looked at this game before in the past but not bought in it because it's just like that the flight kind of aspect of the game that I don't usually enjoy too much but this one is honestly pretty fun. Uh, I'm glad I got it in this bundle here. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Probably gonna go back to it after I'm done recording but we'll see how it goes. Alrighty guys I'll conclude the games that I'm showing off for the video today. As you can see the games that I ended up getting kind of ranged from low quality point and click games up to that kind of cool bomber crew game uh, that many of you may have already seen and heard of. So as you may expect, I cannot really recommend this model to anybody as some of the games that you may get may be very low quality games that you may never want to play again. So if you got a couple extra bucks laying around and you're interested in buying some of these mystery keys, I'll leave a link down below to go check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one.